Alright, first things first, last time I forgot to watch the end credit sequence. I've been doing that a lot lately, I'm sorry. So today we're gonna start out by watching the previous episode's end credit sequence and then go from there. Which means we get a bonus. Do 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 do. <laughs> this might be the last day, actually, right? Do 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 I can't hear myself when this stuff was on. Do 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 do. It's hard to match the pitch. Do 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 do. <laughs> I get so into it, I don't know why. What's behind the door? It's not locked. Something terrible? Oh, uh, no, no, it's her parents. Hell yeah. Dad? Mom? Best daddy? Best mommy? <laughs> damn, they're just so good. They're just too damn good. That's how many times I passed out after the cavalry battle. Oh man, look I'm at him. Sure the last two were because of dehydration. Mom, are you con concerned at all about this? I'm glad you have a quirk, but did it have to be so dangerous? There it is. <laughs> of course, I'll keep supporting you, but I am still your mother, so I'm going to worry too. Yeah, this is sort of unsettling, the fact that he can barely eat. He can't even hold a fork. I need to figure out how to use one for all and make it my own. And not destroy yourself in the then, process. Maybe I'll finally be able to say it. I am here. <laughs> That'll be the day. That'll be great. Stupid weakling monsters! <laughs> Imagine being this upset about winning. Well, that was nice and touching. That feels like Deku realizing something that's gone unaddressed for a while that I think is a huge issue and a very difficult question. The question of where is the line when it comes to self-sacrifice? It's so weird because they're aspiring to have the maximum amount of unselfishness, right? Yet there's something selfish about not thinking about the people who care about them, like Deku and his mom and Ochako and her parents. Who's there for All Might, I wonder? Maybe that's part of the problem. Who's waiting for All Might? God, suddenly I feel like he lives such a lonely existence. All right, and now the actual episode for today. <laughs> We recovered from our injuries, and then our normal classes started right back up again. Well, some things were different. His hand is still messed up. You're Midoriya from class 1A. Right, they're all celebrities now. Great job in the sports festival. So weird. Keep trying, born hero! I will, thanks! <laughs> Are you ready, Deku? Are you ready for this life? Are you really ready? Is this what you wanted? Are you prepared to be the symbol of ultimate peace and justice and whatever? Now and forever, it seems? It's weird that they've all just had this door open for them, seemingly forever, at such a young age. Like, there's probably no going back from this, from this point out. And they're all just still kids, and like, figuring it out? I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot for them. Whoa, Ida! You really went all out with the rain gear! What well, gave it away that it was Ida? <laughs> so, Ida, um... If it's about uh, my brother, don't be concerned. I'm sorry if I made you worry. Everything will be fine. That's what I said. See, I knew it. That's what I want to hear. Thank you, Ida. You're the man. Time to pick some names. What does that mean? Everyone wanted to talk to me on my way here. Yeah, me yes, too. this is what I like. People Back to normal. <laughs> Back to school. Everything's fine. What villains? There are no villains. All it took was one sports festival and suddenly we're like celebrities. This school really no. is amazing. Uh, <laughs> I can help myself. Sorry. Hey, he's better. We have a big class today. On hero informatics. Oh no! Informatics? Crap, I bet it's about hero laws. I'm so bad at stuff like that. No one is good at that in this world. You need code names. Time to pick Time to pick ideas. names. This is gonna be totally awesome! It does sound like fun. Pros are essentially investing in your potential. Any offers can be rescinded if their interest in you dies down before graduation, though. Stupid, selfish adult. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get your chance. He's winning the second year tournament in season 19. In past years, it's been more spread out, but there's a pretty big gap Interesting. this time. Todoroki got higher offers despite losing the finals. It makes some sense. She had some Probably great displays. excited about working with the guy who had to be chained up at the end. If I stand up, yeah, bro, and that's they're it. just weak! That's amazing. He must be proud. He's got other priorities. I bet everyone was really grossed out by the crazy way you were fighting. Hmm. I mean, that's not, not such a bad idea to stay away. Even those of you who didn't get any offers. Oh, so we're all interning? Yes. This is going to be great. I can feel it. And for that, we need hero names. Things are suddenly getting a lot more fun. <laughs> These hero names will likely be temporary, but take them seriously or... You'll have hell to pay later. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I choose. Oh, look at them. I don't want to be in the spotlight anyway. Bro! I got it! Man, he was clear from the beginning. 
Sure, whatever. They have some history, huh? A code name tells people exactly what you represent. It's interesting they choose their own names. I almost feel like it would be more impactful if they were given names. Or if names arose organically, you know what I mean? So the internship thing is a really cool idea. I don't know why I'm getting so excited for that. But personally, I think that's the best way to learn anything. Like, I've had so many experiences in my life where I thought a thing would be a certain way. Or like I learned a lot of theory about something and then it all went out the window as soon as I actually started doing the thing. So I actually dropped out of high school for a short time. And when I went back, the school I went back to was sort of unique in the sense that on top of classes, minimal classes, you did internships for school credit. And I attribute those internships that I did to a lot of my growth and development. It made me realize really quickly like what I wanted and what I didn't want. And also the, the reality, the actual reality of what work is. So for example, one of my internships was I was an assistant kindergarten teacher. And I actually really enjoyed that. And it's sort of unsurprising that I ended up in education later. And similarly, I thought it would be cool to be a chef. And I literally like did one day of cutting onions and I just never went back. Just generally speaking, you know, the world is so complex it's almost impossible to imagine anything with any degree of like real accuracy or detail. But the world will let you know what it is as soon as you step out into it. You know what I mean? So that kind of hands-on thing is going to be amazing. Depending on the quality of their their mentors. I feel like that's that's a huge thing. Is Deku going to get All Might? You know, one thing I'm looking for still, partly because it was just so great when it was happening, is Deku All Might quality time. I would be really happy if we got more of that. Although I think it would be interesting if Deku got someone else as well. I could see that being pretty cool. I need something that embodies the kind of hero I want to be one day. This has all the same pitfalls as like a teen diary or a young tattoo. <laughs> Your adolescent brain is just not ready to make long-term decisions. Who's got the balls to go first? <laughs> Ayama, that is your answer. Hold your breath. The shining hero. I'm not holding my breath. My name is I cannot, I cannot stop twinkling. <laughs> you know, oddly perfect. I like it. I'm a fan. Also, you're not really French, are you? That's just an act. Okie dokie, let me go He's next. French? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> like that horrible monster with the acidic blood? Great movie. Great movies. Ribbit, I think I've got one. Okay, Sue's I'll got go it. Next. Come on up. Brady sees it, hero. You can do better, Sue. Come on. Froppy. Great example of a name everyone will love. Froppy? My name is Red Riot. Red Riot. Not bad, not bad. I like the alliteration. But someday I want to be just like he was. Crimson you already is my have idol. a big head start with that hair. <laughs> You're bearing the name of someone you admire. You have that much more to live up to. Well said. I like that. Before I met All Might, I had a couple of names picked out. We already got a name for you, buddy. From now on, Deku will be the name of a hero. There's Mighty All Man <laughs> and Mighty Boy. Gee, I wonder what these are based on. His mom's really nice too. How does jamming yay sound to you? <laughs> oh, it's like Hemingway who wrote a farewell to arms, right? Real clever. Jam jamming like way. It. No, it's because even though you're powerful, you are. <laughs> the tentacle hero, tentacle. Oh, I like what you're doing with that. A nice portmanteau. Oh, I see. Some of these are translated weirdly. Martial arts hero, tail man. Tail man. I am charge bolt. Electric, don't you think? It makes me all tingly. I feel like it's a missed opportunity for his, his nickname. His nickname should have been... <laughs> Spelled A-H-E-H-E-H-E-H. -H -E -H -E -H. Thumbs emoji, thumbs emoji. <laughs> Invisible girl! Very literal. I hope that I can live up to this name. Creative. The everything hero. I'm creative. Creative. Shoto. <laughs> He's good enough. He could pull it off. Sukuyomi. Him too. Oh, Sukuyomi. Nice. I'm the fresh big hero, grape juice. Very kitschy. I like it. That fits really well for Minuto. Grape juice. King explosion murder. Stop. Too much. My turn. I hope it's just her full name. Ochako Urarara. Uravity. I just love that. <sighs> Not totally on the same page as Midnight on some of these. <laughs> Denya. I wasn't sure if I wanted to say anything yesterday, but I am fine. <laughs> my legs are used. Stop it! What? Hate you. I want you to take the name. Will you do that? Oh, it's so difficult though. Me, Dinya. How does he? I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. You're using your real name too? Very interesting moment for Ida, and I'm not really sure what to make of it. I mean, the feeling of it is clear. There's just the overall gravity of the situation and the taking of the name, especially given Ida's 
age and relative inexperience, right? But then there's probably a lot more to it as well. Like if Ida worships his brother that much, he doesn't want to become his brother. You know, his brother is something larger than life. And then there's also the possibility that on some level, Ida might feel that it's just better to be his own thing. You know, like you don't need to take his name to honor his legacy, right? I don't know. It could be a bunch of stuff, but either way, no matter what it is, it's a lot to ask. It's a lot to take on. You sure about that? Yeah, man. Remember, that could be your name forever. Right. Is it Deku? I used to hate it, but then something changed. It's Deku. You can call me Deku, but I'm not Yeah, yeah, anymore. this scene. From now, From now on, Deku, Deku will be the name, name of a hero. <laughs> and that's a nice tribute to Ochako, too, in a way. Come on, beach training. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. It's for Midoriya. Really? Who's that? No, no, him? it's a trap. What the? Are you kidding me? Lord Explosion Murder! That's basically the same thing. Just let him have it <laughs> at this point. Now that everyone's decided on their hero names, we can go back to talking about your upcoming internships. Yes, let's. They last for one week. That's it? There are around 40 agencies across the country who've agreed to take on interns. This from school is intense, man. It's like they're Each expected to be. Each agency has a different specialty that its heroes. Full focus professionals on. at like 11 years old. Is this life in Japan? You gotta decide your fate at age 8? Turn in your choices before the weekend. I would not do well in this environment. I would not do well. How are you supposed to know? I guess these kids are all more mature than me. <laughs> yeah, don't do that one. Pass on that. What agency? The one that the battle hero Gunhead runs. Huh? Oh, so I see you've chosen to kill. But I thought you were trying to be a hero kind of like 13, more into rescuing than fighting. Nope, killing. Killing. <laughs> the more possibilities I'll have. <laughs> Plus, learning from a battle hero will give me a different perspective, right? That's true. Uraraka is one of the people I have the most confidence in. Just because she has a, a disposition that I feel like allows her to handle things so well. Because she has a good aim, first of all, right? For me, that's big. That keeps her passionate, but also in her way, she's really humble. So that, I feel, gives her the ability to think more clearly than some of her classmates. She's not so status-driven, right? So she's thinking clearly about what she needs. She's got this nice balance going between, like, passion, intellect, creativity, and kindness. Does that make sense? Someone give Ida some love. He could probably use it. I'm worried about Ida. Wanna walk together? Mm-hmm. Ida, come with oh, Betty does. <laughs> oh, now you ask? Now you look for Ida? <laughs> I'm here in a bizarre position. <laughs> yes, we can see that. All right, this is about his internship. Who is it? Wait, seriously? Who? Who? Yes. Who? The hero's name is Gran Torino. He retired a long time Looks ago. Looks pretty cool. So did he watch the festival and think that my teaching was inadequate? Did he went so far as to use his old <laughs> name when the It's funny to see All Might actually afraid of someone. Too scary. This is going to be a good internship. Anyway, it is my duty to train you, but... Another parallel <laughs> between All Might and Deku. Just how scary is this guy? Yeah, yeah. That's some good development right there, making All Might afraid of him. Ida only listed one place. That's strange. He must have gotten better offers than this one. A hero agency in Hosu. Don't tell me. What is he up to? Ida's big brother was all over the news. It turns out he'd been attacked in Hosu City, Tokyo. In the alleyway. Stain. If it's about my brother, hero killer don't be Stain. Concerned. I'm sorry if I made you worry. Everything will be fine. He was putting on a brave face. I didn't realize either. I was surprised to hear that he'd taken an internship in Hosu City. The same place where his big brother had been left for dead. Oh, is he looking for the villain? That's just how things were between us as we approached the first day of our internships. Ooh, this is a dark tone. But it's my hero academia. <laughs> Please. Ido, wait! Hey, if you ever want to talk or anything, just let us know. Good man. I'm glad. I was really worried this would go unresolved because I feel like... Ida is sort of setting up to put himself in harm's way. I guess like having that name, right? Or having the ability to take that name sort of pushes him farther than he, he actually can go right now. I don't really know what's in his head, but I feel like he hasn't really sorted this out in a way that's healthy or productive and probably will bring him a lot of danger and harm. I don't know. Sometimes all it takes is like just having someone express concern. Those things stick with you. So it makes me feel good that both of them are actually like trying to get something out of him, you know, or at least showing him that they're there if he needs them. Hopefully that grounds him out, you know, like, him just knowing that there are people who care about him, even if they don't always show it moment to moment, especially if they don't know what he's going through exactly. We're friends, right? Apparently pretty good friends. Yes. 
But I want moment, you to, to be honest, though. I should have tried harder to find out how he was feeling. In the days to come, I would regret not being there for him. No, don't say that. You shut up. You shut up. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll be fine. It's hard for me to get fully into the doo-doo-doo -do -do today because now I'm worried about Ida. <laughs> it's not Deku's fault, though. There's only so much you can push and pry. People have to be ready and willing to share those kinds of things. Ida seems to have made up his mind. And that makes sense. You know, I think a lot of times in that situation where you've decided to do something that you don't want to tell people. Part of the reason you don't want to tell people is because on some level you may know it's wrong and you know you can't really refute the other side, but you have a strong impulse to follow it. So it's easier just to push that out and not listen to it, not engage in the conversation. Oh, we got post credit scene. Again, nice. No. No, no, no. He's eating, eating something. <laughs> He's eating sausage or something. I don't know. Now the preview. <laughs> That's it. Very interesting first meeting. I'm sure it'll be really cool though. Never judge a master by his first appearance. Just think about Yoda. This I'm excited for. As many of you know, <laughs> one of my favorite things ever is like the master pupil thing. So this week internship gives me a lot to look forward to. What a great idea. They just keep coming with these great ideas. No wonder they're still in the first year of high school, all the way in season five or whatever. There's just so much to do. It's like every day is a new adventure, a new career. I've been waiting for the villains to attack for a while this season, but we don't need it. There's just so much great stuff happening. I'm sure we'll get a lot of Deku's internship, but I kind of hope we get others as well. I'm sure we'll get to at least see Ida because he's definitely on a journey right now. So yeah, I'll see you next time when I think we begin the second half of season two.